Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been a while since I last posted about Google Play Games, which is available to run on Windows 10 and Windows 11 PCs. And in, in a nutshell, in case you're unaware what Google Play Games is all about, um, it allows you to play Android games on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 if your system meets the hardware requirements and obviously you are in a region that is supported. Now, I first started posting about Google Play Games back in January of last year uh, when it was launched in beta and it rolled out to just a couple of countries and I wasn't in one of those countries. And then a little bit later in the year, back in November of 2022, um, Google started rolling uh, it out to the United States and then a couple of more countries. And now just to let you know, it's now available in over 120 regions worldwide. And Google has now expanded that rollout of Google Play Games now to over 60 new regions. And finally, I'm in one of those regions now that gets support for Google Play Games for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So now I can start posting in real time and giving you updates about Google Play Games uh, if you would be interested. Now, on the 25th of July, which was yesterday in my region, um, Google did a keyword update where they rolled out four updates, key updates to Google Play Games beta on PC. So it's still in beta. So just take note of that, which means um, it's still in preview. So you could experience a couple of bugs. And the first of those key updates is that you can now play hundreds of games, uh, including new titles like Free Fire, Max, and so on. Now, Google has this to say. They say, we now have hundreds of games in our catalog, including popular titles like Cookie Run, Kingdom, Eversoul, Summoner's War, Homescapes, Evany, The King's Return, Call of Dragons, and Ark Knights. And one of the newest additions, Google says, from that blog post update is Free Fire Max is now available in Malaysia and Taiwan and is launching to more regions in the coming weeks. So if you're not seeing that game, um, it could be rolling out to your region uh, shortly in the next weeks. Now, Google has this to say, and they say that since uh, your game progress and libraries sync across phones, tablets, Chromebooks, and PCs, you can easily switch between devices during gameplay and pick up right where you left off. So that's the convenience of actually having the app and the Google Play app now on your actual PCs, you can sync across your different devices, which just makes things a whole lot easier and simpler if you are um, using Google Play games to obviously do your gaming. Then the second key um, update regarding uh, Play games, Google says, is you can access Google Play games now in more than 120 regions around the world. And over the past few weeks, they say they've opened their beta to more than 60 new regions, as I mentioned, and I'm in one of those now, as you can see across Asia, the Pacific, Europe, and Latin America. And today you can play Google Play games in more than 120 regions around the world, as I did mention at the start of this video. And then the third key update is you can experience the beta now on more PCs, which means additional PC users now can give it a try. And by the way, uh, just on a side note, if we just head over to the settings, the latest version you need to have for these updates is app version 23.6.594.10. So just take note of that. And then the fourth key update, they say that is rolled out now for Google Play games, is you can customize your keyboard where they've added keyboard remapping capabilities. So you can customize which keys you want to use as controls and match them to your gameplay preferences. So just letting you know now that if it wasn't in your region, just have a check and Google Play Games now could be available in your region. And to do this, if you want to double check, I will leave this download page in the description. And if it is available for download in your region, you can obviously just hop over to this and you can download the beta. And then once that's downloaded, you can just install that. And then obviously um, you will be able to play Google Games and Android games and right from the convenience of your PC. But one thing to take note of, if we just head back to the download location, it's got quite steep system requirements. And the minimum requirements to be able to run this are Windows 10 version 2004 and any later and newer version. Yes, where I think it might catch a couple of users. Um, your storage needs to be SSD, so solid state drive with 10 gigabytes of available storage space. So take note of that. Now, um, just on that note, I can't run this on my Windows 10 device because I'm running a, a hard drive. But as mentioned, if you have an SSD, uh, you should be able to give it a go. Uh, graphics Intel 
UHD graphics 630 GPU or comparable, processor, 4 CPU physical cores, some games require an Intel CPU, and memory, 8 gigabytes of RAM. You need a Windows admin account and you need hardware virtualization that must be turned on. So as mentioned, there are a couple of steep system requirements, but nonetheless, uh, just putting it out there, Google Play Games, still in beta, still in preview, now making its way to more regions and finally has become available in my region. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.